ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಶಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮದೇ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರುನ್ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾಕ್ತಿಹಂ ಬಣುತಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕರೋಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಾರ ಬರಾನುಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ತಂ ನಿಶೃಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಏಂ ಗುರುಪಶನೈಕ ಭಕ್ತ್ಯಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾಕುಟರೇನ ಸಿತೇನ ಧೀರ 
विवृश्य जीवा स्वयमय अप्रमत्व संवृश्य आत्मनम अथो त्याज्य हस्तम एवं गुरुपासन भक्तिया विद्या कुठरे न सीते न धीर विवृश्य जीवा स्वयमय अप्रमत्व विवृश्य जीवा स्वयं मयम अप्रमत्व संवृश्य आत्मनम अथो त्याज्य हस्तम गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुपा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट आई एम रेडी टू गो टू हेल फॉर एवर टू सर्व परमंस जगदगुरु टू टू सर्व परमंस जगदगुरु आई एम रेडी टू गो टू हेल फॉर एवर With some due contact, Sadguru Seva is the topmost Seva. Popa many times told, nothing so auspicious like Guru Seva. Guru Susso Sanam Nam Sarva Dharma Tamat Tamam Tasma Dharma Paro Dharmo Pavitram Dharmo Navidhati. गुरु सुशोषणम नाम सर्वधर्म तमोत्तम ऑल टॉप मोस्ट सदगुरु सेवा गुरु सुशोषणम नाम सर्वधर्म तमोत्तम एंड आफ्टर दैट रिट इन वर्ड नथिंग अस्पीशियस लाइक दिस तस्मा धर्म परो धर्म पवित्रम धर्म नीता थे आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग ऑन डे यूज दिस About how we can realize who is really disciple and who is not. First point is that if you search the whole Brahmanda, you can you cannot find a speaker like Sukhdev Goswami. Main point: if you search whole Brahman, and in this world, if you search, if you can make a com com operation. You know, comb operation. You cannot find such a speaker. Oh, at all if you find, okay, maybe one or two. But you cannot find such a man, such a man who can accept the teachings in total. This is rare, the Bhagya. So this is so rare. It's not a matter of game. That's why in Sastra it is written. That if at all if we find one speaker, I mean, who can speak about Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan, but still disciple is more rare. So the quality of disciple I was discussing on those days, who is ready to carry out the order of Guru Pad Padma without any argument. A sadguru can engage him in seva and give also power. I can preach all over the world without the kipa of guru. How possible? Kipa all coming from guru. So at all, if I am going to do any special thing, it must be done by guru patpadmo, not by me. That's why those pure devotees. Pure Gauriya devotees, they never deserve any. They never claim. Pure devotees, they never claim anything. In their name, we have done it. They are going to attribute everything in the name of Guru Padmod has done. We have not done anything. That's why. Guru Seva so important. Who can carry out Guru Seva without any argument? That is, a, we know the case of Kuresh. We know the case of Kuresh. Kuresh was ready to take the risks of his own life. Kuresh was very much, you know, interested to take risks of his life to serve Guru Padma. 
this way our guru varga they all they have tried their best to serve popad popad also are you speaking the shlok in the first in the beginning is very important it is written the way we will have to serve guru pad padma the way you will have to serve guru pad padma is really very secret submission okay everybody can say i have submission by 100% submission after that to sell himself to guru pad padma vikrito pashur vikrito aur pashur yatha that day i was speaking in bhagavatam it is written how you can how best possible way how best possible way you can explain this point submission in bhagavatam it is written vikritor pasur yatha like when you are going to a you know market where you can buy one beast you buy one beast and come to your place and if you are going to give bad treatment to the not giving water not giving anything grass nothing that the beast has nothing to do he cannot that beast beast cannot start agitation not possible so vikrito pashur yatha is written yesterday i was i was speaking one point popa told i am ready to come down to any level for the actual preaching of chaitanya vani common people cannot understand the meaning they can misunderstand come down to any level mean even you can go to hell yes i can go to hell for the preaching of guru vani same thing i today i am speaking it is the topmost idealism of yukta vairagya what pope was speaking i can come down to any level for the actual preaching of gauravani you cannot understand only simati radharani having this kind of mood lalita vishaka radharani and those who are those who are actually their eternal paraphernalia eternal parts they can only understand yukta vairagya is such a very sensitive thing that in common that uh, if you if you want to understand by the application of your sense organ and eyes you can you can you can misunderstand yukta vairagya is such a sensitive thing common people cannot make any head and tail what is this what do you mean that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu told one example that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu told one example to sanatan go swami pad that example is very effective example but common people cannot understand meaning chaitanya mahaprabhu speaking to sanatan pratibrata ramani pratilagi kaila beshya shevan one chest lady one chest lady she can have no personal desire she cannot reserve anything personally chest lady cannot reserve anything you cannot make any head and tail because this is the deep philosophy of this vedic culture very deep philosophy you cannot make it wow possible what speaking deep philosophy one chest lady she should not have any personal desire she should not have any he cannot reserve some right nothing totally surrender this man i know this is not applicable at present in this material society almost absurd but without which the question of marriage is useless in veda shambeda 
there is some mantra about marriage. But nobody understands. During marriage ceremony, priest actually, the pujari is going to speak this mantra. But nobody understands. When this kind of marriage, I am speaking, not at present what kind of marriage is going on. That kind of marriage. When husband gone mean, wife gone. Husband gone mean, wife gone. Too much oneness. That's why at the time of mantra, I mean when marriage ceremony going on, you will have to speak this mantra. Jadidam hidayam tabo, tadidam hidayam mamo. What is your heart, it is my heart. And what is my heart, it is your heart. Mani, unification of all to human soul. This is the meaning. So Mahaprabhu wanted to give this example. See, chastility, she is even ready to serve one, one pros for a husband. This is called chastity. Mahaprabhu giving this example. In our Gauriya society, I mean Gauriya Bhajan, we learn this point from Simati Radharani. She can do anything for Krishna Seva. She can cheat the mother-in-law. She can cheat husband. She can cheat all local people. She can make fool of everybody to serve Krishna. She can make fool of everybody to serve Krishna at any kind of eventuality. Any kind of eventuality coming in the life of Simati Radharani, she is not going to break down. She is keeping hope I can do Krishna Seva. Any kind of point, adversity, any kind of problem. This is a very secret thing. We will have to learn. But from where you can learn? Popat gone, Bhakti Muttagur gone, our, one by one, all our Guru Bhargo gone. Some back end. Yes. We are feeling very much. So Popat used to used to quote two sloka written by compiled by actually Rupa Goswami Path in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, our Rupa Goswami Path used to, uh, he already wrote one thing. Anasaktasya visayano yatharhum kuyanyata Krishna sammandi yuktam vairagyam ichyate. Prapanchi kathaya buddhya hari sammandi vachuna Mamukshogi parityago bhairagyam phalgu kachate. This two sloka is the key. These two sloka are the, are the key to get entry into Gauriya Bhajan. So secret. You will have to go up to such a level of realization that you can do Krishna Seva. Somebody is speaking. In the temple, uh, they are worshipping Radha Govindo, Pujari going into the temple and worshipping. Papa speaking, they are not worshipping Radha Govindo. Then Radha Govindo, they are? No. They are worshipping Lakshmi Narayan, maximum. Maximum they can worship up to Lakshmi Narayan. Uh, they cannot cross that limit. How they can cross? They can worship maximum Lakshmi up to maximum. Maximum and maximum most. They can reach up to that point. But Krishna Seva, so high sensitivity. Foolish people, they cannot worship Krishna Seva. Anyway, Krishna is merciful. Those who are trying, Krishna can give some kipa. But what I mean to say, Krishna Seva means the total satisfaction you cannot arrange. Not Krishna Seva word. So this way, Anasakta Sabi Sayano, 
there should not be any attachment, any kind of attachment, a smell of attachment should not be there. Anasakta Savisayana. All matter can be there. I can feel from heart those matters. Without those matters, I cannot live, I know. I love to stay under this roof. I am in room. I love to use this, that, okay. But all you will have to do for the sake of Krishna. All you, can, you should think, all my wife, all my children, or wife can think, my husband, all are the items of Krishna Seva. Not an object of my enjoyment. Like that day I told, people can say, father, mother, they have their uh, affection for children, quite natural. Father, mother, they can have, it's quite natural, affection for children. But still, this affection is contaminated, not pure. Still this affection is not contaminated, not pure. In the material world, pure relationship is not possible. In this material planet, this kind of pure relationship is not at all possible. Hiranya Goshibu, he going to think that a five years boy, Prahlad, is my son. He can obey my word, what I say he will have to do. I mean, an object of my enjoyment. That day I was speaking, huh? when I say uh, the deity is very nice, very nice clothes, everything. Oh, that temple, oh, their deity is very nice, but they are, they are not. This is not Bhagavad Darshan. There is called one kind of mood of enjoyment. When I can see deity, when I can see deity with these eyes, then surely the deity become an object of my enjoyment. This way, this is actually absurd. We don't understand anything. So, Pallad Maharaj, five years boy, but he don't know because we're thinking he is an object of my enjoyment. Enjoyment, whatever I can say, you can carry on, you can do. If you enjoy something, try to realize. If you enjoy, in your life, whatever enjoyment you do, in your life, whatever enjoyment you have done in your life, or you are doing, or you are supposed to do in future, you can, in cold brain, cool brain, you can think for your enjoyment. For your enjoyment, somebody has to put some energy. Follow. Like what? Suppose I can take prasad. Somebody cooking. Somebody cooking, giving energy, so I am enjoying. This way, if you calculate in cool brain, very cool brain, you can think, whatever enjoyment you have done in your life, whatever enjoyment you are doing at present, whatever you are enjoyment you are supposed to do in future, all for that, one has to put some energy for you. You are enjoying that man. It's very cool when you have to think. That's why Raghunath Das Gosai never wanted to take any seva from anybody. Gaur Kishar Babaji Maharaj never wanted to take any seva from anybody. Never. They never think, they never think I am object of Service, Mane, they can serve me. You can never see. Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote many things in his article about the present situation. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote 150 years back, minimum. That time Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote, at present those acharyas, the sannyasis, they deserve seva from you. Bhakti Muttak wrote, I can show you. I already translated. It can be published. I but nobody interested to read. They have no time to read. So still we can give our energy. Bhakti Muttak told at present all Acharyas and they have no patience. <laughs> they all like to take service from different places. They think we are Seba. So, 
this way Bhakti Thakur expressed his concern long ago. So, we cannot expect any seva from anybody. Suppose somebody giving, uh, you will have to take it. I can say the source. If I say the source is contaminated, I cannot say. I cannot say. I cannot say. So many people told me, I can give you. No, I cannot take. He's ready to give me. So many lakhs of rupees, I cannot take. In Delhi, one place, one uh, devotee used to come to me. He told uh, that one uh, man can give one crore rupees minimum to you, but you will have to uh, give one, you know, you will have to give. What he told, I forget, you have to give some document. I told, I don't need. This way, you will have to, you will have to think, you will have to think over and again before accepting something from somebody. Because you will have to pay for that. If you are going to accept something from somebody, you don't know that you will have to pay for that. It is possible for big, big elevated sadhu, they have no attachment. Anything they give, somebody can give, cannot give, they don't care. I mean, they have no attachment. They can just accept and use for Krishna Seva. It is possible for them. That's why Bhakti Thakur wrote, I couldn't give complete answer that there may be ten days before. In which Katha, maybe Hindi or Bengali, I forget. There, Bhakti Muttaku told Matmandi Dalanbari Nakura Prayas. Don't try to make big, big temple and buildings, nothing. It will be one kind of bondage for you. You are bonded soul. Your brain is scattered. You, you cannot concentrate your brain, mind in Hari Bhajan. So, unnecessarily, you find. In Rasamrita Sindhu, I am discussing in Bengali, so secret points. There Hari Bhakti, uh, in, in Rasamrita Sindhu, Rupa Goswami Pad also going to write that you should not arrange big, big thing so that it can become a bondage for you. Rupa Goswami Pad writing in Rasamrita Sindhu. <coughs> this kind of function, this kind of thing, you can arrange so that you can lose your own position. Suppose you are going to arrange, suppose you are going to arrange one function, big function, a big temple, anything. If, if you yourself are going to lose your position, then what use? You are going to arrange temple. For whom? For the benefit of the public. But you are going to lose your position. First benefit you should get. After establishing, if you cannot get the first benefit that I established temple, there is Bhagavan is there, I can take. The, if you are the first person to take the benefit, but you are not in a position, you lose your position. So what do you do? For try to follow. I am not going to seek. You cannot make any temple. Not that. There is some point. Why Bhakti Mithra told? If after making temple, if after making a big function, festival, <coughs> if, you're, if yourself going to lose position, what is the utility? Only for name, fame, position you are going to arrange. But you are not thinking that you are going to lose your own position. So for bonded soul, Bhakti Mithra told, Mat Mandir, big, big temple and this society, all you found by you should not do. Matmundi Dalan Bari, big, big building cannot do. Because you can lose your position, because you have no power, very weak man you are. But in Bhagavatam we find Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj. You can come this way. Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving instruction to Uddhavji Maharaj. Uddhav, Man Mandir Kare Dhiram. You can make big, big temple. Man Mandir Karayat Diram, big, big temples should be erected. So, contradictory. 
Whereas Bhagavan speaking, big, big temple we should erect. And where Popa Bhakti Muttakur speaking, Matmanli Dharamai Nakara Prayas. What is the solution? This is the solution I told you. Bonded soul, for bonded soul, it is dangerous. They can become karmi. Previously, somehow, previously, somehow he was trying to do some bhajan, some rules and regulations. I have seen some acharyas, no, no time to chant even anik. I am not speaking lie. I am Vyasasan. One disciple of one acharya, I don't like to name because it is my not it is not my desire to criticize somebody, to learn something from any situation. He is from Assam. He took initiation long ago from a Gauri Acharya. The excite of Riva, I don't like to name. He told me one day, Maharaj wonder. I wonder. I never saw my Guru Maharaj with Mala. He saw in my whole life, I am taking initiation so long time, only the mala is here, hanging. I never saw my Guru Maharaj is busy with mala. He told me. This is the condition. Even they are so busy, they have no time to chant and nothing. <laughs> so do you think this is bhajan? Do you think this is bhajan? No time. Chant Anik, do this. No time there. So many cases I can discuss. So this way you see, a bonded soul get involved. Many times, Paramahansa Siddhar Goswami used to say, "Don't try to make any temple." My Guru Maharaj also told me. Many times, don't make any temple. You see. You do bhajan or try to chant Harinam and do Sankirtan, hold and hear Harikatha, sit. One temple was erected, established in Kolodi. Siddhar Goswami told, Bas, one temple is okay. You all sit around me and hear Harikatha. No need of making it. Who can obey? After that day by day by day, oh, temple. Finally, he was bound to say, well, if you can arrange, it's up to you. If you can arrange, up to you, what I can do. This way, they are very, they are very, you know, anxious about us. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, it's okay. It is not wrong. Because if there is no big, big temple established, where people can go? They have to go to temple, participate in Harikatha, Kirtan, Aruti. This way, that is, the, that is the motive, that was the actual motive of Prabhupada. The reason for why he was bound to establish 64 mat all over the world. Because 64 different you know, limbs of bhakti. Sixty-four different limbs of bhakti. So he was bound to do. Because otherwise people where can go. But if you are going to open temple, you must be very careful. You will have to keep elevated devotee there in each temple. Try to realize. Suppose you are going to open big, big hospital. Oh, Maharaj, I open thousands of all. So what? I will have to see, there is some doctor or not. Like crazy man, I have money, I can open thousands of hospitals. But so what? If there is no doctor, where person can go? So before opening one hospital, so before opening one hospital, you must be very careful. There is one doctor or not? Doctor means? Gaur, Prabhupada wrote one small article, Gauri Hospital. It's joking, I can speak someday. Joking, Prabhupada wrote. All about the intricate, intricate subject matter. The reason for why Prabhupada opened so many temples. 
Popat was so merciful, he wanted to give advantage to common public. They can come and take prasadam, they can look arati, hear arikata, do sankirtan, they can get the exact teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Popat never wanted to make any compromise with disciple or anybody. Popat never wanted to make any compromise. He finds some disparity, wanted to make him understand. If not ready, get lost. Get lost, what you do? What to do? This way, what Bhakti Thakur wanted to say, if you make so many temples, if there is no elevated devotee, because elevated devotee, elevated devotee, he himself is a temple. You don't know Gauriya Darshan. You don't know Gauriya Darshan. As per Gauriya Darshan, all our one, one Guru Bhargava, they are, they, they are themselves Gauriya want. If you can take one Guru Bhargava anywhere, maybe America, Russia, England, France, Italy, anywhere, they are Gauri Mat. They can, they can start speaking all about. But what do you mean by Gauri Mat? Gauri Mat can serve, I already told you yesterday. Gauri Mat can serve Chaitanya Mat. I mean Chaitanya Mahap. So our Guru Bargo going, 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 he becomes Gauri Mat. Anywhere, if you can take him to any place all over the world. Gauri Mat can appear there. Their presence. Itself Goryamat. They can go on speaking all about the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, Gosai Maharaj also never wanted to make any temple. So many, our Bhaktalok Paramahansa Maharaj, big, big devotees. Bon Gosai Maharaj, such a big, you know, such a exalted personality like Bon Gosai Maharaj. You know what kind of, you know, power is there inside Banavusai Maharaj. Someday Avir Bhakti Tiro I can discuss. You can go mad. But still, he never wanted to make big, big tunnel. If you search, only one or two or three maximum, he never wanted to make. Only one Bhajan Kuti in Bindavan, near Madan Mohan, there you can ask very small, very small, very small. And one, I spoke Harikatha everywhere, all three temples maxima. In my life, like one or two or maybe in one temple one time, they invited me. I have no time now. I went to South Bengal, I, uh, huh, Dakshin. Bengal, there, there's one temple, there I spoke Harika, by the mercy of Maharaj. And Bhajan Kutir, when I was in Vrindavan, they invited, they used to invite Abhir Bhakti Rava, used to speak Harikatha. And in Calcutta also, three. That also even not, there is a Bhajan Kutir, not writing temple, because they know a temple is there, bonded soul, they can fight over this property. They think temple is one kind of property. That's why they never wanted to make it. So when Bhakti Muttavu told, surely they have some meaning. That is a bonded soul can be busy with this, you know, this thing. So he told this way, but Prabhupada has done okay. If so many hospitals, there is no doctor there, what is the utility? Only the patient can come and die. All patient can come because he has a hospital, but no treatment. So the patient can come and die. That is the present situation. That is the present situation. Anyway, but I can discuss tomorrow also because no time. So our Uddhavji Maharaj and Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna actually wanted to make Uddhavji Maharaj as the topmost preacher. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to arrange Uddhavji Maharaj as the topmost preacher. So I told that it is a standing instruction of Brahma to 
Brahma to Naraji Maharaj. That you will have to idam bhagavatam namo janme bhagavato ditam sangroho ayam vibhuti nam tamitat vipuli kuru. I am going to speak you bhagavatam in gist. You will have to expand and propagate. You will have to do. This is the instruction of Brahma. Yatha haru jatha haru bhagavati nenam bhaktir bhavishvati. It is very vital. Jatha haro, jatha haro bhagavati nenam bhaktir bhavishvati. Sarvatmani akhila dhare iti sankalpa varnayo. Sarvatmani akhila dhare iti sankalpa varnayo. Sarvatmani akhila dhare means all the original reason of infinity world, that is Supreme Lord. Sarvatmani Akhila Dhare Iti Sankalpo with, with such determination. With, with such determination, you will have to speak Harikatha. You will have to go for preaching, mind it. Otherwise, you would be punished. Slight deviation. Self interest, punishment. Preaching not a matter of joke. Foolish people all over the world, they think preaching, ah, I can go for preaching. <laughs> Many times I told, who can go for preaching, who is totally established in Adhyay Gantatta? Who is established in Adhyay Gantatta, only he can go for preaching. Or at all uh, some uh, devotee going, maybe Madhamadikari low level, can go, but under the guidance of very powerful Acharya. So that his influence of that Acharya can control the misbehavior of that devotee. Follow. The power of a exalted devotee, Acharya, if you look at him, you can find some power, effulgence coming. So if Prabhupada is present, who can, if Prabhupada is present anywhere, who can do some rubbish thing, can do. By the influence of Prabhupada, the whole temple can run nicely. It's so power. Maybe some wicked man can do. He has no belief in Guru Vaishnava. But still, we is totally established in Adhyayagantattva. Only and only he can go for preaching. All other people, they are not allowed. If at all they are going, they can make some misbehavior, some, some, something wrong, which is derogatory for whole Gauriya Vaishnava society. Bonded soul not allowed. This basic point they don't understand. They think preaching means a collection of money as joking. I can go different places, make fool of people, give some uh, external honor to them. They can, I can give honor to you, but I can give slap to you. This is my love. They can honor you, they can give garden, they can ask you to write one article to make fool of you. But I cannot do. I can provide a slap. This is my love. I am less interested about quality, a uh, quantity. I'm always, I'm always less interested about quality. A uh, quantity. I am always interested about quality. That's why. Sarvatmani Akhila Dhare Iti Sankalpa Varnay. I mean, Brahma gave me instruction to uh, Naraji Maharaj. You will have to preach in such a way, so that bhakti can develop inside the heart of those bonded soul. With this determination, with this idea knowing, try to follow each and every word. Brahma not speaking with this idea, you can, no. With this determination, firm, firm, de firm determination, you will have to go for fishing. Yatha haru bhagavati nenam bhaktir bhavishvati sarvatmani akhila dhare iti sankalpa varnay. So, Brahma is our Adi Guru. Adi Guru, na? So, we will have to follow this instruction. 
all our big big acharyas ramanu charges madha charges vishnu swami nimbaka charges so all successive successive effective acharyas they all following the same rule they are not going in preaching field for playing game with some mata ji is this pita ji is this. not that you go all around the world if you don't believe me if you have money you go all around this world and go each temple established by any society i am not going to mean you stay there for one day two day you can see their activity what they are doing you can understand then you can realize then you can realize why i am barking like a dog because i have my headache you have no headache i have no material headache but this is one kind of headache follow this way now bhagwan sri krishna speaking to udhav udhav uh, you are asking question i know uh, i am going to speak you one uh, one incident i mean the dis discussion between uh, between one abadhut among one abadhut and abadhut sanya abadhut sanyasi and yadu i already told glorify i was speaking all those one or two days i was speaking about the glorification of yadu i mean bhagwan sri krishna going to give honor to yadu as uh, krishna appeared in yadu bamsa and jadava those yadu jad bhagavatam yadu pungava yadu pungava main top most of yadu yadu bamsa krishna so anyway everywhere it is glorification there and atrapi उदाहरती इमं इतिहास पुरातनम अवधुत संवाद यदोरमीतेय्य यदोरमीतेय्य यू कैनॉट एस्टिमेट यू कैनॉट कैलकुलेट यू कैनॉट एस्टिमेट द पावर ऑफ जदु वाई बिकॉज यू हेज भक्ति आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन ना वाई इट वॉज पॉसिबल फॉर फॉर अंबरीश महाराज टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर होल वर्ल्ड because he was powerful due to bhakti bhakti is the shakti we can say bhakti is the shakti follow bhakti is the shakti so it was possible for parikshit uh, parikshit maharaj it was possible for judishir maharaj it was possible for prith uh, prithu maharaj they were successful to get control of a whole world whereas in your uh, small family maybe one children uh, i mean one boy one daughter one wife and one husband nobody has controlling over other husband not going to obey wife wife not going to husband obey uh, a wife not going to obey husband boy no he do not going to obey father this way all scattered maybe they are maybe they are staying in a family maybe you can say that is one family member but they are staying in one flat nice okay <laughs> but i can prove they are staying in isolated ice land deep philosophy i can prove mathematically that they are all daughter father mother boy they are staying all in isolated as land no connection with each other only mutual agreement we can stay together you are my husband okay no problem and we can earn some money cook together and take and whatever i am doing you have no headache wife saying i can go anywhere husband can so i can go anywhere. this is their marriage this is their family life i am speaking all about practical thing i am making operation and open and going to show you what is there inside your belly a very nice looking if i make operation you can see all blood and all bowels can come out dirty thing then you can hate your own body you have love for your own body na i know but i can 
show you what is dirty thing is there inside your mind, my mind, my body. One incident I can speak, one practical incident. It happened in Calcutta Salt Lake. One mother and one daughter, one mother, one daughter, and father, maybe they married after that break, marriage broken now, I mean divorce, maybe, I don't know the reason. So the daughter is there, daughter is very intellectual. As maybe she is uh, 14, 15 years, she is very intelligent. Then always mother going to chide that daughter. I, you are doing this. I, you are doing this. Always this. Chiding. But the character of mother is known to this. Character of mother known to this girl. So one day she was bound to burst into tears. And so when mother speaking all rubbish to daughter, Daughter speaking, why you are speaking unnecessarily this way? Huh? You should obey all seniorly person. Then the daughter speaking, yes, this is your advantage that you are senior to me. Daughter giving intellectual answer to mother. Yes, this is your extra, extra advantage that you are senior to me. So you can do anything you like. What I am doing, you become angry. I mean the daughter knowing everything about the dirty character of mother. So this is the condition of this family life, this condition. This is the condition. So this way, now, avadhut min, avadhut min, gyananishto virakto va madbhakto va anabhekshakaha sa linganam asramam stakta charit avidi gocharaha. They are beyond any rules and regulations. You cannot tie them. You cannot tie them under some rules and because they are already regulated. One Paramahansa Gaurkishwar Babaji Maharaj, I cannot put I cannot put some restriction on him. Already restricted. If I like to put some regulation with Bhangshidat Bhai, why you are so late? Eh? You don't know bhakti. Eh? Now almost three o'clock over, you are going to cook. What is rules? Eh? It's not good. They are already regulated. They are already regulated. Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava, they are so regulated, you cannot find even a single fault with them. But still you can find fault. This is your nature. They are already regulated all the time. They are going well. But you think they are not following rules and regulations. What is this? Follow. My Guru Padmatma used to say, the utility of mat, utility of Gauri mat, you can discover when one pure sadhu is there. If no sadhu there, if no sadhu there, some bonded soul going to arrange their society and making some rules and regulations, they can make some GBC member. Eh? Who care man your GBC member? Who care man your GBC member, the bonded soul here? Yeah? Bonded soul, their character, you see, behavior, bonded soul, ah, oh, the money, so. GBC man. Are decision can be taken by a pure sadhu, idiot number one, rascal. Decision can be taken by a pure sadhu. What decision you can take? You are regulated by Maya. You are controlled by Maya, you are going to control society. You control yourself first. Try to get control over yourself first. Then you can control others. Society control. Idiot. Popa never wanted to mean this. This way you see, one avadhut is beyond our limit. Avadhut is always beyond our limit. So, nobody can understand the character of an avadhut. What he is doing, why doing. Why, why going there? What speaking? Like a crazy? What you can They are always staying in ba Baba condition. Baba does. Always there is one kind of Baba inside there. According to that Baba, they are regulated. 
They are not regulated by your GBC member. So any important sadhu in your society, you can throw him out. Ah, useless. Because he is regulated by Gauri Mat. He is regulated by Gauri Siddhanta, so you like to throw him out. Ah, useless. Because he is regulated by Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta. This is your character. Now, Jadu is powerful. The reason I told is he has Bhakti. That's why Bhakti is a power. Abadud dijam kachit charantam akutu bhayam kovim niriksho tarunam yadahu prapacha dharmabit. One day, dharmabit. Dharmabit means who has knowledge about what is dharma, what is not the all the intricate subject matter of dharma is known to Yadu Maharaj. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to give honor to Yadu. You see, still today, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to You see, dharma bit and in Bhagavatam 10 canto beginning, it is written, Yadu dharma bitta maha. Dharma bitta maha. Here, Dharma is speaking, uh, is speaking, but in the beginning of ten canto decision, Jodi is Dharma Bhitta Maha. Dharma is a positive comparative superior. Uh, follow. Dharma Bid Dharma Bhitta Raha Dharma Bhitta Maha. Dharma 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 Bid Dharma is knowing dharma, dharma with taro, dharma with tamo. Positive, comparative, good, best, better. Positive, comparative, superhuman. So this way, abadhutam diyam kaschicharantam makutu bhayam kovim nirikshatarunam yaduhu prapachor dharma with jodu dharma with she was little bit, uh, you know, upset. What is it? Young, this young man, very nice, stout figure, very healthy, no disease, nothing. Why lying this way? Not asking anything, not answer like a crazy man. Uh, why? What can be the reason? So, Dharmavid Jodhu was very much interested. He wanted to approach that, you know, Beggar, man, externally beggar, that man. Abadhutam dijam. So he is going to ask Jodu now. Jodu now asking. Jodu, Jodu Maharaj now asking. Kuto buddhiriyam Brahman akartum su visharada. Jama shadyo bhavan lokam vidyan charati balakap. One thing very important, I forgot to speak to you. Very important. One sadhu, pure sadhu, can identify one pure sadhu. Very important point. Ordinary people cannot understand. Ordinary men cannot understand. Oh, thousands of people in different society. They are not thinking it necessary to approach a sadhu. Because they do not, they don't know what is, who is sadhu. Thousands of people coming to Dham, but not, they are not regulated by, by Guru Vaishnava, proper Guru Vaishnava. Thousands of people, they are fanciful, taking one ice cream, taking one cold drinks, they are doing two different stall, cake, this, that, they are enjoying it. Uh, I have gone to Dham, Mayapur, you know. Uh -huh. Your father, your grandfather, grand-grandfather have seen Dham, so that you can see, idiot. Who in your family tradition saw Dham? So you can say, I have seen Dham. Dham is not a matter of joke. So you can uh, have a look. You can see a Dham. This is a conception. Sahajya, all Sahajya. So, after watching, after watching the activities, after, after watching the activities of that Abadhut, and watching a very stout figure, very nice, then he could realize, I told you, na, one sadhu can realize another sadhu. One sadhu 
can realize another sadhu. Ordinary people cannot. Our Sukhdev Goswami, no cloth, nothing, only naked, and there is no all here, all you know, all around here, carl, carl here, carl here, no carl here, carl here, carl here, all around. And he is running like a mad, he is running here. All small boys, they are throwing stone on him. Oh, naked Baba. But they don't know who is he. But when, but when Sukhdev Goswami is going to reach the assembly, one point spectacular, that father, forefather, four, forefather, grandfather, they all stand up immediately. Because they could realize he is a boy of 16 years boy, but still is a great personality. So, if sadhu can be known by another sadhu, material people cannot pass judgment about sadhu, he is not sadhu, he is sadhu. Who give you, who give you responsibility to pass remark about one sadhu? Who give you, you yourself bonded soul? This is a at present condition. Oh, don't call him. Oh, he is not sadhu. Oh, we can call sadhu. He is not sadhu because he is speaking about absolute truth. So, how you can become sadhu? Sadhu means you will have to speak lie. Sadhu means you have to become a cheater. This is sadhu. Otherwise, why should I call? Unnecessary problem, we are going to invite one sadhu in our sava. You can make us naked. You can speak some harikatha and we can become naked without cloth. Who can take responsibility? So better you don't call. <laughs> this is the condition. <laughs> so, the judgment, so the judgment, who is sadhu, who is not. Who can do? Who can do? Who is sadhu, who is not? We cannot give this responsibility in the hand of on some bonded soul. If there is bonded soul there. So, who can take responsibility? So, pure sadhu can realize a sadhu. So, Jodhu Maharaj, he himself is sadhu. Maybe he is Raja. Maybe you can say he is not in renounce order. But who can say? He is having top renounce order. Otherwise, why Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking Dharma Vittama? When Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to speak this way, that he is Dharma Vittama, so surely Bhagavan Sri Krishna is not going to speak that he is following ordinary Dharma. When Krishna Bhagavan himself speaking, he is Dharma Vittama, surely he is going to speak that he is Bhagavad Dharma, those who are following, among them he is top. Logic, you know, when Krishna Bhagavan himself speaking, he is Dharma Vittama, surely Krishna Bhagavan cannot speak about ordinary Dharma. Surely not. Krishna can speak about Bhagavad Dharma because he himself is <laughs> Bhagavan. So, among all Bhagavad Dharma followers of Bhagavad Dharma, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to mean his Dharma Vittama. He know the all intricate subject matter of Bhagavad Dharma. Dharma Vittama. So, now Jodhu is going to ask, paying pranam to that, you know, Abhadut and asking, Kuto buddhiriyam brahman akartur shu visharada jam asyadyo bhavan lukam vidyang sharati bhalavat. You are that learned man, you are learned, you are tattabhid. So, how and from where? How and from where you got this mood? You, you got this kind of mood to travel like a small boy, four years boy, without clothes, nothing. Why? Where from you got? Kuto buddhiriyam brahman kartum subisharada jama shadya bhavan lokam vidyang charati balava how you are following this kind of rules. Whereas a young man like you can have different kind of desire. You can marry, you can do so many things, you can earn money, you can enjoy your life. But where from you got this kind of mood to lead your life like a crazy small boy? That I like to do. Because usually 
usually the usually the whole world is busy with dharma artha kam moksha usually the whole world is busy with dharma artha kam moksha chaturbarga they are busy but where from you are getting me it is not a matter of joke whereas you you have your efficiency you have a body power you have a brain you are pandit everything so jodu after looking at this avadut could realize everything realization can manifest na inside heart so prayo dharmarth kameshu prayo dharmarth kameshu vidisayanch manava hetu naivo ha eh? samihate ayuso jaso sasriya almost everybody in this material world they are also they are running behind dharma to kam but what about you that you are going to draw that you are going to grow such a very excellent fine brain fine intellect where from you came whereas whole world running running behind dharma to kam mokha whole world they are busy to enjoy their life anyway doing some dharma but the dharma is related with their body material mind or the society in which they are put into and uh, they are doing but where from you are going to get this kind of fine super fine intellect to neglect this material world to to lead your life like a mad where from it's not a matter of joke so as uh, uh, jodu asking प्रायो धर्मार्थ कामेशु विदिशयांच मानव हेतु नईवो समीहते आयुषो जसो सश्रिय आय कै नॉट कैलकुलेट आय कै नॉट फाइंड आउट द रीजन आई एम थिंकिंग बट आय कै नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द रीजन फॉर वाई यू आर हेतु नईवो समीहते आय कै नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द रीजन फॉर वाई यू आर गोइंग टू लिव दिस कैंड वेर फ्रॉम यू आर गोइंग टू डेवलप दिस कैंड ऑफ सुपर फाइन इंटेलेक्ट तम तो कल्प कबीर दक्ष सुभोग अमृत भाषण न कर्ता निहते किंचित जरो जरो उन्मत्त पिशाच वत् उन्मत्त पिशाच वत् यू आर एफिशियंट युअर बॉडी इज वेरी स्टाउट बॉडी वेरी गुड लुकिंग वेरी हैंडसम बॉडी वेरी नाइस and you know also you are kavi i know you you know the outcome of veda i do you cannot hide me by looking at you i can realize you know all the uh, secrets of veda veda secret vedag pandit and you have efficiency you can do anything and you are you can speak very nicely though though still up to now up to now that avadut not going to speak even one word up to now only only jodu mahara speaking only jodu mahara speaking but that avadut not going to speak even one single word but still how it is possible for jodu to know you can speak sweetly there is no even not one word speaking that's mean jodu is realized soul jodu can understand follow jodu can realize this kind of power we saw in our guru varga like popat bhakti mr thakur e popat look at somebody he can understand kesav goshi ma sidhar ma if they look at somebody they can realize what is there they can know everything so you see why you are you can speak very sweetly and very controlled way of your speaking you can speak very sweet your representation your representation is very very nice your way of speaking very sweet but why you are then then why you are going to lead a life like a crazy man unmatto pisaj like a witch why 
No, you are not changing your clothes, you are passing urine and soul and uh, not going to latrine, nothing. Why? What can we do? Somebody going to give some chapati or bread, is it you? Somebody going to driving away, hey, go from here, is going away. Somebody invite and change clothes and making, you know, going to uh, arrange bath for them. Then, is, then clean the body, give new clothes, uh, going to make him sleep in the bed. Again going outside, right? staying in the road. Anything in his life is not worried about that. This material world is burning. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told this material was material world is burning. There is forest fire. You cannot see because you are blind. There is forest fire. Each man fighting with others for to protect their self-interest. All is fighting going on. Always different kind of fighting, competition going on. This is burning Samaj. This society is burning. Janeshu Dajjamaneshu Kamalovo Dabagnina. Same thing Jodhu Mahara speaking. Janeshu Dajjo Janeshu Dayu Maneshu Kamo Lobo Dabagnina. Jodhu speaking, this material world is burning due to their kama, loba, all burning in their heart. And they are fighting with each other, that kind of forest fire going on, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told us. Jodhu also speaking, Janeshu, Daiho Maneshu, Kamo, Lobho, Dabagnina, No, Tapashe, Agnina, Mukto, Gangam, Gangam, Mosho, Ibo, Dipaha. So, Kam, Lob, Krodha, Moho, all different kind of Ripu. Due to the influence of different kind of Ripu, your heart is burning. And uh, whole world just like forest fire. Whole world, like forest fire. Going on. But how possible that, how possible that, how possible that fire not touching you? All around in the society, fire is there, but that fire, how not going to touch you? Just like an elephant, just like a very clever elephant, when going to discover the whole forest is there is fire. Jadu speaking, you are, it seems that you are very clever, like one elephant, when discover the whole forest is in fire, elephant is very clever. Elephant going to enter into a water source, you know, water pond. Whole your fire is in the water. Fire not going to touch. So this way, elephant is very, there is one big lake in the forest. Elephant have information about that. If there is forest all around, elephant immediately going and entering into the lake and sand, watching all around power. Fire cannot touch. This way you see, this way you see, and I know why, why I find, why I find that you are not uh, affected by the fire uh, growing all around. How, not, how you are not affected, just like elephant. I am very much interested to know all the secret reasons. All the secret reasons I like to know. So, could you please speak? Pallad Maharaj also. You don't know, this is the topics of Jodhu Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj also met with one Ajagar Tapasi. He is lying like that. Pallad Maharaj also. Pallad Maharaj alone in, 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 in guise of an ordinary man. On those days, those kings, they are very much, you know, intelligent. <clears throat> and they are very pious. I mean, they are doing bhajanos, Bhagavan Sikhs, most of them. <clears throat> Pallad Maharaj <clears throat> going to change that dress. You know, king, king has this 
ordinary base, like beggar, going outside uh, with turban. Nobody can understand his Pallad Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj searching everywhere to, to check up the condition of the country. My population, they are happy or some problem there. Ramchandra also. Ramchandra also, night time, used to change or dress everything like a beggar and go and stick. Used to travel around the country, different places, to take information about what is happening where. They are happy or not. If there was some miscreant going to make some problem. So I used to travel. There is the nature. Prahlad Maharaj, Ramchandra, all day. It was the rules. So now, Jodhu also doing this way. <coughs> now speaking, <coughs> I am going to put one question in front of you. Why you are not affected by ma matter all around you? Why you are not affected? Everybody affected. Come on, everybody feeling attraction. Everybody, but why you are not feeling attraction for any matter here in this material world? What can be the reason? I like to know it very secret point. So, Tamhina Prichatam Brahmanya Atmani Ananda Karanam. How is that you are feeling enjoyment in yourself? Why do sadhu? You never, never stop thinking about this. Why do sadhus do is feeling so enjoyment? Why? Because they have internal enjoyment. They are not going to search out enjoyment in the material world. They are in, they are in, they are in, no. They are going to search out enjoyment in themselves. That's why those pure sadhu guru Vaisa, they are controlled. They are regulated, very happy. Why? No dissatisfaction, no demand, nothing. Because they are enjoying self enjoyment so the question is that jadu maharaj giving tvanghina prichatam brahman atmanya anand karanam bruhi sparsho vihinasya bhavatahu kevala atmanah why you are satisfied with yourself what can be the reason i like to know please you speak so today i am going to stop i am bound to stop and run Excuse me, I don't like to stop, but I will, I will have to stop. So anyway, evam guru pasanaika bhaktya vidya kutharena sitena thira vibrishya jiva sayamayam apramatta sangrishya atmanam atho tajya astam vancha kalpadarose ke pasindh vaisya patitanam pavane bho vaisna vyon. With full concentration you can hear. Those who are new, you translate, you translate. Those, those who are new, money in never heart, for them it is a little bit tough, but those who are habituated for them, okay. But they can also grow habit. So anyway, we we'll have to concentrate and remember for whole life. For whole life, up to your last limit of life, you should not forget. Up to your last limit of your life, you should not forget. You should remember. That is the utility of your coming here. If you forget just now when you write the plan, useless. Then useless. Remember. Anyway, so I think you can remember. Don't you know, get displaced.